Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, God. I cannot believe I am back in Ithaca, New York, baby. Ithaca, New York, where it is. I can't believe it's actually 50 degrees. I don't believe for one fucking minute that it's 50 degrees. It was 46 degrees an hour ago. Of course, that was out at Bugs in a Jar Farm. So I guess I'm in the balmy 50 degrees. Here at my first trip to Lowe's. My first trip to Lowe's building supply here in 2023 in Ithaca, New York, baby. Good Lord, look at the fucking sea of these goddamn gas grills. We got the gas grills. We got the riding lawnmowers. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. So I just lightened my wallet by $340, but I guess I could have lightened my wallet by $9,000. So you can come to Lowe's and pick up a uh, $5 bag of, <clears throat> of cement and get yourself a $9,000 little dune buggy. And I do want to send out another huge thank you to my buddy Basil. Wherever you are, Basil, I am back in New York, baby. And I really appreciate the gator. That gator has already saved my ass. Thing fired right up, brother. Fired right up. The third turn of the screw. There was not a mouse anywhere to be found in the gator. Oh, fuck, man. It is 7.30 at night, so I've been home for two days, and this is two 11-hour days. Of course, pretty much 12-hour days by the time I get home. I have 480 pounds of concrete sitting in the back of this gas-sucking truck that has to get up to the top of that damn mountain. Oh, Jesus. Oh. And, uh, Ithaca, New York for another summer. Let's see. So I've been home for two days. So 340. I have spent in two days almost a thousand dollars. I have almost one thousand dollars out of my goddamn pocket not to mention the wear and tear on my 63 year old body oh Jesus <laughs> I don't know where I keep getting the energy for this shit I really think this of course I thought three years ago that I had retired <clears throat> I honestly believe probably naively that this is the last big push. You know, I've got three fucking tiny houses now. Three tiny houses. I've just got to get the uh, 10 by 14 foot deck on the tiny house at the very top of the hill. I just have to get 480 pounds of concrete from this truck to the top of that goddamn hill. Then we got to screen in a porch and get the old uh, solar panels plugged in and that water collection system on those two things. So we will have rainwater collection on two of the tiny houses, solar panels on one of them, outhouses in both of them. We're doing the humanure. We're going the humanure route. We'll see what uh, the county thinks about this when they when they find my outhouses. 
with the various plastic buckets. So anyway, we are preparing for the collapse. We are preparing for the collapse of global industrial civilization at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Got our solar panels, our rainwater collection, and our humanure. I'm sure will be a big hit with the Airbnb guests. The five gallon buckets that I will <laughs> I will uh, offer to the Airbnb guests I need to do a rant I'm trying to decide whether it's worth my energy on this fucking little nasty little hippie chick bitch that I met on Craigslist I was offering uh, you know again I'm trying to find somebody who just wants to take over my garden. I have this absolutely gorgeous uh, organic garden, this raised bed organic garden, and I just don't have, I'm too fucking busy to get it going. So uh, for the second year I've been advertising for this uh, organic garden, and organic gardener who just wants to have my garden to grow all the food they want to eat to uh, sell and they can camp out there for the summer whatever uh, so anyone interested in being the organic gardener at bugs in a jar farm so anyway this little hippie chick answered her name was Maddie Swan Maddie Swan she was this 25 year old little uh, clueless fucking moron hippie chick who uh, has never gardened in her life but she told me she wants to learn how to organic garden and uh, I mean she was pissing in her pants excited by uh, this offer and uh, so we email back and forth and talked on the phone a couple of times now I, I knew that this little uh, this clueless little bitch was completely out of her league I mean I I knew uh, that I was leading a, sl a lamb to slaughter uh, and that this little girl was completely out of her league I mean she was this you know you, you can imagine this little flibberty gibbet with this fucking romantic a uh, dream of, uh, of being an organic gardener in Ithaca, New York. Uh, oh, God. But I thought, you, you know, having some little 25-year-old uh, hippie chick running around my organic garden and bending over a hoe might be a, uh, might be a way to spice up my summer. So, uh... She wanted to, of course, I, you know, she wanted to go look at my garden. So she drives out there last week, all excited. I mean, pissing in her little tie-dyed panties, uh, hippie chick uh, excitement to get out there. And then she goes out there and I get this email back from her she goes well she goes I went down you know I went out there and she goes I notice I notice that every property on your road is either falling apart or is a garbage dump either falling apart or a garbage dump so I emailed her back thanks for the laugh I resemble that remark and I said, he, he, and I, I just said, you know, listen, you fucking little clueless moron bitch. Uh, I, I said it's, uh, you, you, you know, it's entitled, privileged, little rich white girl bimbos like yourself uh, that make me sick and tired of fucking Ithaca, New York with all of this limp dick lefty bullshit. And uh, I told her, thank you for confirming my decision to move out with the trailer trash so I don't have to deal with fucking privileged little whiny little entitled white girl bitches like you. 
I said, good luck on your fucking organic gardening dreams, you clueless fucking little moron. And uh, so I sent that off to her and uh, got the email back. Uh, what did she say? Uh, she said, uh, I don't give a fuck how hippie you are. I'm not going to live in piles of shit with you and your pigs out there in the boonies. <laughs> a little hippie girl with her organic gardening dreams is not going to live in the piles of shit with me and my pigs. So, uh, <laughs> I don't think I will be seeing that little hippie chick bending over a hoe uh, <laughs> from the, uh, deck of my tiny house so I guess your old doomsday pervert was uh, <laughs> was blocked oh god so here we are okay it is 40 see here it is it is April 28th it is 46 degrees and raining and I guess it's gonna be raining pretty much as far as they can see into the future that I guess the long-term weather forecast goes through May the 7th and uh, I guess it will be raining every day I've got fucking eight bags of concrete sitting here in the back of this uh, leaky ass truck okay it is 45 degrees it has dropped five degrees since I left uh, you know, downtown Ithaca. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. So, uh, there you go. Our grand opening is May 25th. But things are coming along. I had a little better luck with this uh, fellow I also met on Craigslist. So we now have what have we gotten accomplished in the past? We've built the stairs to the tiny house. We have both outhouse doors, outhouse roof. We've got the, so we're pretty much winding up on the outhouses. And we have the deck on one tiny house and screening the porch on the other. And then I'll get around to these rainwater collection systems and uh, I can go hunker down with my fellow pigs in the piles of shit out here in a uh, trailer trash land where there's no little privileged entitled little white girl hippie chick organic gardeners allowed. Oh fuck. Yep, it was 85 degrees one week ago. It was bright sun and 85 degrees. And now it is raining in 45 degrees. And I guess it will be raining in 45 degrees for as far as they can fucking see into the future. So I'm gonna get out here and enjoy my uh <laughs> Enjoy my whatever the fuck this is I'm supposed to be enjoying while I still can come see me at Bugs in a Jar Farm but leave your little fucking little uh, entitled privileged white girl hippie chicks behind when you do because we don't want them having to suffer the piles of shit with me and my fellow pigs. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Yes, little dog, are you glad to be back in New York, baby? Bye, guys.